it changed from when Jalen said he was going to play on Wednesday until uh, game day? Basically? Yeah, uh, you know, he he just wasn't. He wasn't healthy enough to play, uh, and you know we, th you know he was. We thought he was getting better, and um, it just, it just. We we're always going to put the player's health uh, first and foremost, and so he just wasn't healthy enough to play, and uh, and that's why why he didn't play and didn't dress. And then how involved is he in that? Like, did he want to play? And you guys, of said course, he wanted. Of course, he wants to play. Um, you know, the, like I told you guys on Friday. I mean, it's it's. Uh, you know, it's a lot of parties at play. I always got to listen to the doctors. I always got to listen to the trainers, and I always got to listen to the player and take all that all that information, and uh, make a decision that's best for the for the player and our team. Will you remain your quarterback? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Did you have to adjust the offense with Gardner in there? You know, when we came into this game, uh, we knew Jalen was banged up, and again, you don't know that. Jalen's, we didn't know Jalen's not playing uh, till till today, right? And so, you come into the game. And so we weren't we weren't going to have a big quarterback run run game uh, today, um, as far as our run game goes. You know, just with whoever you know whoever it was going to be. And so in the run game, not a lot. Uh, in the pass game, again, I think I talked to you guys on Thursday or Friday about it's there's going to be differences like because you know it's a different guy pulling pulling the trigger. And so we always we have our favorites. Shane and I have our favorites. Brian has his favorites, and, and Kevin. Um, but it's about what the quarterback's comfortable doing. So, you know, obviously there's going to be a little bit of differences. We put a plan together uh, based off what we think our guys can do um, and what our receivers can do and our tight ends and our running backs. And, and you know, really the ultimate um, – way the, the play gets called is if the quarterback's comfortable with it because he's the one with the ball in his hands at every time. So, you know, so obviously you have a little bit of differences there based off of the likes of the quarterback. Um, and it's, it's always going to be a little different for, for everybody. And if you follow said, up, of course, Jalen's going to be your quarterback moving forward. What's behind that decisiveness? Uh, but with Jalen being our starter, I think he's played good football. Um, you know, I think he's played really good football. You know, I think there's been there's been there's been uh, times where he's been one of the best in the league with the way he's moved around, made plays, and um, you know, with his you know, we look at that quarterback rating and, and what he what he's had there. And so um, he's played he's played really good football when he's in, and so when he's healthy and he's back, he'll he'll be our starter. Next year, how do you learn health wise, do you expect? That he might be back after the buyers. Yeah, I, I would, I would think so. I mean, but I, again, I don't want to put timetables on anybody, um, because again, you just got to see how the body heals and body reacts to everything. But I would think so. It's just, we're, the buy's coming at a right time for us. Uh, you know, we got, we got, we got to get a lot of guys back to to uh, you know peak performance. Um, you know, with some of the little bumps and bruises that we had today. And so this is a late buy. Um, and I would think Jalen would be ready coming out of this. How did he handle the news that he wasn't going to be able to play, and, and how did he handle it today, being on the sidelines? Uh, I thought he was great uh, um, with, you know, he knows his body too. And so, um, you know, he was great with, uh, you know, obviously the competitor in him wants to play, but I'm not I'm not saying he was fighting us in there, like, to get out there. I mean, he would have probably, just knowing Jalen. But um, – but he he knew um, he was great on the sideline with his teammates, um, just being there for our, for his teammates on the sideline, high five and uh, smiling, and um, it was great. It was it was good to see him support. That's what a leader does. That's what your starting quarterback does when he's when he's not playing. So uh, I appreciate the way he went about his business today. So Nick, uh, first first thoughts on on Gardner's performance, and uh, you're going to hear uh, certainly some people say the passing offense looked better in the first half. Was it better to you, and why was it better? Uh, I think the the obviously it always starts up front and how the how the protection's going. I thought the protection was awesome, and not to take anything away from Gardner, he played a great game. He he got the ball to the backs uh, on checkdowns uh, when there wasn't something there. Uh, he hit some chunks uh, in the pass game, um, you know, a couple of the quez on those deep overs, and and so he I, th I thought he played a really good game, and and you know. I think our message to, to Gardner was go out and be yourself, uh, protect that football. You got a good supporting cast around you. You got a good offense line. You got good receivers. You got a good tight end. You got good backs. You got a good running game. You got good defense. All right, so go out there and, and, and be yourself, and, and that's going to be enough. And so he, he did. He went out there and he, he played a really, really outstanding game. I'm really, really happy for, for Gardner and, and the game that he played. When you say, when you say he wasn't right? healthy enough to play, Jalen, um, did, did the fact that he's you know, such a weapon as a runner, uh, factor in in that decision in any Again, way? Again, if, if he was – we take everything into account, but if he was ready to play, he would have played today. Uh, and, and that would have been, you know – um, I don't ever want to give it percentages. Like, if he was this percent, like, if he was ready to play, he would have played, and he wasn't ready today. 
Nick, I know you you want to score touchdowns on every drive, but with the efficiency, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do, Mike. <laughs> with the efficiency of Jake Elliott, how much does that help you with your game planning once you get on to the opponent side of the field? Uh, yeah, you're a hundred percent right. We're we're not like we're not laying up at all, um, and and so obviously you feel comfort in that. Um, you feel comfort in that. You, I think if you looked at our faces on the sideline when we don't convert, like J- Jake would probably be a little offended in the sense that he makes the field goal and we're all like, you know, like doing this and because we're, we're mad about not converting. Um, so. You feel comfortable, though, in the sense that when you have to kick, that he's playing the type of football he is. And, and he's really, I mean, he's really been automatic and uh, he's, he's been really good. And so, um, yeah, and so the, my comfort level for kicking field goals is obviously very high. Um, but obviously, we're upset when we don't convert on third down and we got to kick it on fourth. Hey, Wade, what can Jalen learn from watching Garner function in your offense? I think, I don't think that, you know, everybody is going to learn from from the game and and Jalen's going to watch and like you take every opportunity that you have as a player and you learn so and you watch the position so I'll say Deion Kane, right a practice squad receiver and, and Keyshawn Johnson uh, a practice squad receiver they're going to learn um, from anything that happened in that game today good or bad uh, and the same thing goes for for Jalen and the same thing went for uh, Gardner when Jalen was playing good or bad you get to learn from that opportunity and that's a that's a part of how do you get better every single day a big component of getting better every day is the detail in meetings and the film study um, you know you know that that is such a big component of 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 what we do. We're just such visual. All, those, our guys, our players, our coaches, we're visual and like be able to put on the tape and praise the good things and correct the bad things. Like I, I get so excited about that in this game because you know every little correction or every little praise is 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 getting the behavior how you want it, or getting the play how you want it, and so. Um, yeah, I think that, you know, not only Jalen's going to learn from that, you know, Reed's going to learn from that. And, uh, you know, like I said, Dion and, and Keyshawn. Uh, just, I mean, the when you're when you're making a, a check on, an, on a play, I mean, anything. I mean, really, Zach, I mean, it's anything. Uh, I guess I wasn't clear there. The, you know, it's uh, a check on this play. Oh, that was a good check. Uh, uh, a step up with two hands in the pocket on this play and feeling the defender behind him when he laces it to, to Quez or, um, you know, it could be anything, you know. So. What did you know about the run game? Uh, was different clearly what did you make of the fact that it was still relatively successful without the threat of jail yeah i think it goes back to the offensive line jeff you know that they were just able and and miles is just a as a dynamic player there's still an element of our offense that they have to gardner's a you know i think gardner had a ten, nine yard run or it could have been a little bit longer to scramble but he's still an athletic quarterback that demanded some 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 respect on the back side if he would have pulled it and so um but again it was great to see that. Um, great to see our offense. That's who we are. I mean, that's that's a big part of who we are is the the type of run game we want and the physicalness and the toughness. And uh, you know, it's obviously great to to see it to flow the way it did today. What can you tell us about what happened with Stout? You snuck that last one in there. Huh? Yeah. Uh, what'd what, you say? With Stout. What, what happened with Stout? Yeah, he, you know, he went through through something in, in pregame, and they wanted to take him um, to get evaluated, and he did, and he was back on the sideline, and I was able to give him a hug and. Uh, them. I was just happy to see him on the sideline and, and know that he was he was through the, the situation that he went through.